This tutorial is the first part of a two-part series on data validation using custom formulas. Let's have a look at a basic example. Let's click on this cell here and right click and scroll down to data validation. From our criteria, check the customer formula is, and we've got a, an example custom formula here, is odd A1. So if we type in is odd A1, so if we type in equals is odd, and then cell A1, a1, object input and show your validation help. And more often than not with custom formulas, you'll probably want to write your own validation help text. So we'll delete that and we'll just say number is odd and hit save. Okay, let's see what happens. So if I type in one here, it should be accepted, right? Ah, huh, number is odd. That's a bit strange. What's going on? Let's right click and have a look. So right click go down to our data validation and it says is odd a1. Now the example is really great, but what it actually means is that this cell reference here should actually be the cell reference that you're using your data validation on. For us, this is actually a15. So if I typed in a15 here, then our formula should be correct if I typed in one. Let's hit save and see what happens. So we're back on a15, our data validation is here. If I type in one, ah, it's working. What if I type in two? It should give us an error, right? Yep, certainly does. We type in another odd number, three, we're good. Four, error again. Great. So now we know it's working fine. Cool. So that's the basics for custom formulas. Let's move on to something more useful. In the following tutorial, I'm going to go through some really useful custom formulas that you'll probably use in your day-to-day -day life. But first, let's delete this one. So right-click, scroll down to the bottom, data validation, remove validation, and delete that text. Great. Our first one, phrase must contain the word B. If you have been following along in this tutorial series, you would have done the text series back here, where it says enter text that contains B. That can be also part of the word. So because was an accepted value here. Now this wasn't great. So we can also change this in our custom formulas. So let's go back to our custom formula sheet tab and have a look here, the word B. So if I type in uh, B, it's going to be fine. If I typed in this became really long, in the text contains data validation, it would be accepted. But in this one, let's see what happens. Ah, enter value that satisfies the formula, blah, blah. Okay, let's have a look at this formula. So if I right click, we'll go down to our data validation and we can say custom formula is, and we've got this regx match. And I'll explain that in a moment. But before we go on, we probably want to make this a bit clear here. So we'll change our show validation help to phrase must contain the word B. Must contain the word, and we'll put it in inverted commas to make it easy, B. We'll stop. So that's pretty clear instructions now, instead of that customer formula is, which will blow someone's mind. Let's hit save and let's have a look at the formula. So as you can see here, I've got the formula in this uh, cell C2. So what's regx match? So regx is basically shorthand for regular expressions. And regular expressions are tools that you can use to help extract different parts of different types of characters or words or letters within a string of text. And our string of text is B2. Regx match it contains two arguments. First, a cell reference, which is this B2 here, and then a string of formulas. You can see between the two brackets that we're looking for BE, and this contains it within the two brackets, so that's the search item. Now, these backslash Bs on either side are actually meta characters, and they basically mean word boundaries, and they isolate the character as an individual word on either side. So instead of like we had with contains before, uh, where it could be part of word, now it cannot be part of a word. So again, become will result in an error, but B is fine. Now, if you wanted capital B, we couldn't use it because regex match or regular expressions are very strict. So B E will result in a false. However, with these bounding words forward slash, it will accept commas after them or full stop. So B E comma is perfectly fine or B E full stop is perfectly fine as well or spaces between. We can also put in an entire sentence. So she is all she can be. Of course, she's awesome. 
great. All right, what if we wanted to have our data validation accept a phrase that had more than one word in it? Well, we can also do this with our regex match expressions as well. Let's have a look. So this phrase must contain the word B, at or in. So we could type in anything here. When will it be? That's perfectly acceptable because we've got the B there. He arrived at the station is perfectly acceptable because we have at in there. She is in disguise is another one. So we've got in in there as well. So that's acceptable too. If we've got be at and in all at once or just be and at or at and in, that's perfectly fine too. So for example, they will be there at nine. And that is perfectly acceptable. Now, if I don't have any of these characters, it is our car, we're going to get an error. All right. Again, if we right click data validation, we can see that we've got our regex match here. So our regular expression match here and our expression on the side here. To make it easier for you to see, I'll put it in the cell. So let's have a look. So let me click on it and let's look up in this formula bar here. So here we're referencing B3, the cell we're in, and then we've got these word boundaries, again on either side, and all our things in a bracket. Next we've got these BE and these pipe characters here, or these vertical line characters. That means these pipe characters signify an OR, so B, OR, AT, OR, IN, as an independent word on its own, is what this is saying. Alright, cool. So in our next example, we have phrase must start with B. And you might think, ah, it's a capital B-E. And like we had in our first example, maybe we could put the capital B and small E anyway in the sentence. Let's see what happens. What if we say to B? Full stop. Ah, it's an error. What if we say be careful? Oh, it's accepted. That's great. So what's going on here? We can look at our data validation, but we'll make it easier. You know how to get there by now. Let's just have a look at the formula. Here, on the right-hand side, we've got our regular expression match. First, we've got our cell reference, which is B4, which is here. And then we've got this little out arrow, which is called a caret. Now, this caret means that this word or phrase here must be at the start of the string or start of the sentence. And then at the end, there's a little uh, backslash in B, which means this word boundary meta character again to make sure it's still a word so we can't use become or something like that. Okay, so with this little up arrow, forces the B to be at the start of the string. Great. So just like uh, the start with B, we've got phrase must end with a question mark. So what if I say, is this okay? Question mark. Oh, seems okay. No worries there. What about if I add, I think so, full stop. Ah, phrase must end with a question mark. So that question mark only must occur at the end. Now we can have multiple question marks. We can have the question marks all on its own. But the rule states that it must end with a question mark. So let's see what's happening here. In this example, we're using regular expression match again. And the reference is cell B5, which is this one. And this time around, we've got a little backslash and a question mark. So what, uh, what we're searching for is a question mark and the backslash is an escape meta character. And I recommend that you use these on most things that aren't alphanumeric characters. And it just helps to escape the character to make sure that it's actually going to be used as a character instead of some sort of meta uh, character that could have different meanings in regular expressions. Just like this next one here. So this dollar signs means that it must be at the end of the sentence. So this is a special character rule. It's a meta character that says that this question mark must be at the end of this string of text. All right. So that's the first half of data validation using custom formulas. In the next tutorial, we'll dive into a few more that are going to be really useful for you in your Google Sheets career. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.